Hello, this is Charles Benninghoff, this 30th day of March in 2016. And today I will disclose to you why I believe Merrick Garland should not even be considered as a nominee for the Supreme Court. NBC News reports that 16 Republican senators have now, quote unquote, broken ranks and have agreed to hold meetings with Merrick Garland. Garland was Obama's choice to fill the Supreme Court vacancy left by the death of Justice Scalia in February. The GOP leadership then made a promise that no confirmation hearings would be held even to consider an Obama appointee. Our church, pray for us, pray for the United States, believes that if we all speak out together, we can convince some, if not all, of these 16 senators that they will be on the wrong side of this issue. We recently successfully convinced eight new representatives to do an about face and actually sign on as co-sponsors to the Refugee Program Integrity Restoration Act. So if everyone does their part in this campaign, we may succeed again. Even the New York Times, a yellow rag owned by a Mexican leftist oligarch named Carlos Slim, who, by the way, leached his riches from the poor in Mexico through a government-mandated monopoly, criticizes the equally leftist Garland. If Garland is confirmed by the Senate, it will skew the Supreme Court to a five to four majority liberal court that opposes all traditional American values, and in most cases, the Constitution itself. We hope to eventually see a constitutional originalist seated on the Supreme Court. An originalist does not interpret cases based on politics. They judge cases based on the original intent of the Constitution and the people called founders who wrote the Constitution. And a judge cannot consider the intent of the founding fathers without taking into consideration the founding fathers' biblical Christianity, which helped frame the structure and contents of the Constitution. What it comes down to is this. Does a judge believe that the federal government is the highest authority in the land? Or does a judge believe that government power is granted to it by the people and that the people's unalienable rights are gifted to them by God? Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 says, For us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Well, here's a partial list of the reasons we believe Garland should not be confirmed. Garland has a 20-year track record of opposing the Second Amendment gun rights on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. He even voted to rehear a case that decided in favor of gun rights. Legal scholars have been unable to find a single case involving a federal regulatory agency in which Garland sided against the government. The New York Times says Judge Garland is well to the left of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy, not just a little bit to the left, but well to the left. Garland's judicial mentors and bosses were all liberal. Garland was a law clerk for liberal Supreme Court Justice William Brennan, and he was a special assistant to Jimmy Carter's attorney general. Garland also worked as a federal prosecutor for Bill Clinton. Protestant Christianity is the largest single demographic in the United States, and yet we have had no Protestant Christian on the Supreme Court since 2010. Confirming Garland would continue to validate Obama's practice of excluding Christians from any seat of importance in the federal government. Here's how we will win this battle with your help. We have written a fax gram message that you can send to the 16 Republican senators or even to the entire Congress if you wish. If you are not on our campaign page already, go there and read the fax gram message where we explain in great detail why Garland should be passed over. Due to the cost involved, usually our fax grams are limited to one page, but for this campaign, the sky's the limit. 
A faxgram is a personalized letter digitally signed by you and delivered directly by us to every senator's office through our systems of faxgram delivery. Read the argument we have constructed. And if you want to personalize it even more, you're welcome to edit the message by clicking the edit text button in the top right corner of the faxgram. You are the most important element in this equation. Everyone should be speaking out on this issue and we need your help in this campaign. So go to the campaign page if you're not already there, read the faxgram argument that we have constructed, edit it if you wish, and then send the faxgrams to the Senate and tell them to oppose confirmation hearings for Merrick Garland. Please, please do it now. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off and wishing you Godspeed. Satan can't make me doubt it. It's real and I'm gonna shout it. I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know.